In this step of construction of the quick and easy Stirling engine, I'm going to show you how to prepare this top section of the engine using a pop can. We're not going to cut this big hole until later. What we're going to do in this step is we're going to cut the top out of the can and then we're going to poke a little hole right down in the bottom and that'll be used for the displacer push rod to pass through. So we're going to start with a pop can and the first step is to cut the inside out of the top of the can. So just starting at the opening using a small pair of scissors And be careful, that will be a sharp edge there, so you don't want to hurt yourself with that. Then the next step is going to be to poke a little pinhole right in the very center of the can. It's usually easier if you try to mark the center of the can first. Get it as close as possible. There are some tricks you can do that are talked about in the book about to help you find the center of that can. And then to poke the hole, I'm using a small sewing needle held in my needle nose pliers. I'm going to press down right on that mark in the center of the can. This is one of the thickest parts of the can, so sometimes it takes a little effort to get it through there. There we go, now it's, it's through. And it's kind of a tight fit. So if you, you wobble a little bit, and this piece of music wire is identical uh, in, to the diameter of the music wire that we're using for our push rod. So I'm going to use that to test the fit. Still a little tight. So just rotate that around in there. And here's the actual piece we're going to put in. Now it's a nice easy fit in that hole. So this is the way it's going to be assembled. When we finally put it together, that piston will be inside and we'll be pressing that can down in. So this is ready to go. I'm now going to make a, some marks on here. Now these dimensions are in the book. I need to make a mark for this seam on the bottom. And I think that's ready to go.